Britons. They've had it with the unbridled imposition of political correctness and cultural relativism by the thought police. Classical liberals are now so horrified by what the modern left has become that they're no longer comfortable describing themselves as left-wing. We are just constantly hounded by the politically correct assholes out there who want to turn this country into a, a place that I don't want to live in. They've had enough of progressives resorting to censorship and authoritarianism to shut down debate. Progressivism is a movement which depends on the deliberate obfuscation of facts and objective reality for survival. But in so doing, progressivism has revealed its true face. A wasteland of enforced cult-like dogmas, allied with ruthless intellectual intolerance and the elimination of all dissent. But a new social movement is rising, an intellectually honest revolt, which places at its core a renewed reverence for objective reality. A movement which rejects the failed tenets of postmodernism. I'm a human being, God damn it! My life has value! A movement which repudiates the pseudo-intellectual notion that there is no objective truth. Conservatism is the new counter-culture. And it's now poised to banish progressivism to the ash heap of history. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Well, of course, last night we had the first Democratic presidential debate labelled boring by Donald Trump. If you didn't have the attention span to watch the whole thing, we've put together this highlights package. Let's take a look. The first is the issue of who should be kept from having guns and using firearms. And we have done not a good job on that. A lot of them are criminals, and a lot of the people are getting killed are members of gangs inside our urban areas and a lot of them are mentally incapacitated. Mm -hmm. In the shooting in, uh, in Virginia Tech uh, in 07, uh, this individual had, had received uh, medical care for mental illness from three different professionals who were not allowed to share the information. So we do need background yeah, checks. We don't want any more psychotropes on drugs from big pharmaceuticals. Away from them. But we have to respect the tradition in this country of people who want to defend themselves and their family from violence. Senator, there are, I know, may I, people are going back and forth here for 10 minutes here. You know, there are people at high levels in this government who have bodyguards, 24 hours hey. a day. Hey, whoa, someone's actually gonna say something. Good for American you, Jim. Does not have that. <laughs> Hashtag disarm Obama. Their family. 
Senator Ch uh, Governor Whoa, Chase, you that's, have an F now that's gutsy. The that's gutsy to say that in a Democrat yeah. debate. Yes, sir. Hashtag disarm Obama. That's like Ron Paul telling the Republicans, don't start another war and getting food. <laughs> time and time again. Senator Sanders, let's talk about income yeah. inequality. Why? If you're going to talk about criminal justice flat, reform, why don't you talk about rich and making the government obey our due process? And that's not just the drug war. That's all the regulatory agencies. Let's to ignore our presumption of innocence. Left office. We were losing 800... Well, Hillary said we need to listen to Obama's UN agenda on policing, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. On mm -hmm. this issue. But the world's financial That's what we're going to get good and hard. The world's financial markets... The global... Was on the of force. Collapse. That's where we were. Are we better off... Nationalized than police Absolutely. force. But the truth is that for the last 40 We've years, got bigger bubbles now. We're ready for it. more bubbles. <laughs> Disappearing, <laughs> and in my view, you what got the we accent, need to Rob. do is create millions of jobs. That was actually Bernie Sanders. Building our public <laughs> infrastructure, raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, that'll and solve everything. Hey, why stop at fifteen? I want to be really rich. Let's make it fifty dollars an hour. Then we'll all be rich. Which I hate this whole <laughs> argument of raising minimum wage. And make what an idiot! Uh, and just, in this country, to which I see the thing is, Republicans <laughs> won't fight against it. They'll just say, "No, no, don't go that high." And it's like, "Hey, just have the Federal Reserve print more money, and we'll all be wealthy." That's the naivete of the American public, and they can get away with that time and time again. You don't make yourself rich by printing pieces of paper and giving everybody a raise. It just, everybody has to pay more for everything else. It's just that simple. We've been down this road before. Why should the government be telling us how much we can pay each other? That ought to be something that's decided voluntarily. And of course, if we didn't have a few corporations that had control, absolute control of the government in terms of regulations and everything else, established uh, barriers for competition, then we would have a free market. That's the, what we don't have here. We haven't tried a free market in this country for a long time. It hasn't been this bad since the 1920s. But if you look at the They're not going to bring in open borders and talk about how we've exported jobs and imported workers. All the jobs have gone to foreign workers, both legal and illegal immigrants. She just said the economy does better when you have a Democrat in the White House. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said it hasn't been this bad since the 1920s. I know. Yeah, she's around that, right? <laughs> we need a Democrat to screw it up even further. I, I respect the passion and intensity. I represented Wall Street as a senator from New York, and I went to Wall Street in December of 2007, before the big crash that we had, and I basically said, cut it out. Quit foreclosing on homes. If you don't Quit stop oh. doing that, I'm not going to take money from you, Goldman Sachs. Cut it out, guys. I'm going to refuse to take thing. that money if you don't yeah. stop this. I have thought deeply and long about wow. what we're going to oh, do. Oh, look at CNN exactly money. Exactly what I think both yeah. the senator and the governor want. Which That's is bad, to okay? It now. <laughs> cut it out. And my you guys just stop it now, eh? have the potential <laughs> of actually sending the executives to jail. <laughs> Nobody went really? to jail oh. after $100 billion. You want to talk about someone going to jail, woman? And I know. Nobody went to jail in the Obama administration that you're part of, even when they were laundering money for drug cartels. They gave them their own private window at the Sinaloa cartel, El Chapo. They gave him his own private window. Nobody went to jail. Bernie, say by you don't name, not, so uh, Governor Chafee, you've attacked Secretary Clinton for being too close to Wall Street banks. In 1999, you voted for the very bill that made banks bigger. <laughs> uh, the glass seagull was my very first vote. I just arrived. My dad had died in office. I was appointed to the office. It was my are very saying, first vote. Are you saying my you didn't dad know had what died. you were voting for? <laughs> I just arrived the Senate. Oh, you didn't know what you were voting <laughs> I didn't for? Know what I was doing, None man. of them <laughs> read the <laughs> bills. They yeah. have to pass them to find out what's in it. Dude, I was drunk at the time I voted for that bill. Yeah. You know? My dad had just I mean, died, and I didn't know what I was doing. There's a cockroach on the ground. There's a cockroach on the ground. I just arrived. I've been mayor of my city. All right, we're good. We got it. Appointed by the governor. Our choices. There's the cockroach. 90 to 5. It's still there. It's still alive. It's still there. Let me just say about income inequality. We've had a lot of talk over the last few minutes, hours, or tens of minutes, but no one's saying how we're going to fix it. And it all starts with the tax cuts to favor the wealthy. <laughs> That's not a hard choice. Tax code. And 0.6% of Americans are at the top echelon That's over 464,000. That's, That's awesome. That's that was pretty sexist. Well, that they generate. I got to say that Lincoln Chaffee is one of the revenue. weakest presidential and candidates I've ever fine. seen in my life. Still a lot more this money to be had from really this topic. I know he, uh, he had less than 1%. I guess they just had to <laughs> back into the tax bracket. And that <laughs> would generate 40 make it a little bit more exciting. 
uh, the middle class is hard earning America. I think it's to make Sanders. Hillary look Sanders. good. Senator <laughs> Sanders, let's talk about income yeah. inequality. Why? If you're going to talk about criminal justice reform, why don't you talk about rich and making the government the obey our due process? And that's not just the drug war, that's all the regulatory agencies. Let's to ignore our presumption of innocence. Left office. We were losing 800. Well, Hillary said we need to listen to Obama's UN agenda on policing. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. On mm -hmm. this issue. But the world's financial so crisis. Get good and hard. Was the world's financial markets. The global was on the verge of collapse. That's where we were. Are we better off Nationalized today than we were then? Nationalized police Absolutely. force. But the truth is that for the last 40 we years... We've got bigger bubbles now. We're ready for more bubbles. <laughs> disappearing. And in my view, you what got the we accent, need to Rob. do is create millions of jobs... That was actually Bernie Sanders. Building our infrastructure, <laughs> ...raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Yeah, that'll solve everything. Hey, why stop at 15 I want to be really rich. Let's make it $50 an hour. Then we'll all be rich. Which I hate this whole <laughs> argument of raising minimum wage. And make what an idiot. Uh, just, in this country uh, to I see, the right. thing is, Republicans Secretary won't Secretary fight Secretary against Clinton it. They'll just say, no, no, don't go that high. And it's like, hey, just have the Federal Reserve print more money and we'll all be wealthy. That's the naivete of the American public, and they can get away with that time and time again. Yeah, don't make yourself rich by printing pieces of paper and giving everybody a raise. It just, everybody has to pay more for everything else. It's just that simple. We've been down this road before. Why should the government be telling us how much we can pay each other? That ought to be something that's decided voluntarily. And of course, if we didn't have a few corporations that had control, absolute control of the government in terms of regulations and everything else, established uh, barriers for competition, then we would have a free market. That's the, what we don't have here. We haven't tried a free market in this country for a long time. It hasn't been this bad since the 19th. So these are about hard choices. <laughs> hard choices. These are about hard choices. So that something like Benghazi wouldn't happen again. There were already seven <laughs> committee reports about what to do. So Thank I think you. it's pretty clear what their obvious uh, goal go, is, go, go. but I'll be there. I'll answer their questions. Well, you know, but people have gone to jail, people have been fired, uh, emails, all kinds of consequences for them. Far less than she did with secure emails, but of course, she gets a pass. Let's not worry about all the times I've lied, and let's get down to the yeah. fact that I need to be in the White House. Let's not worry about how I skirted the law and funneled money into my slush fund. And that is that the American This is not a hard choice. tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know, quite frankly, I am too. I, I think the Republicans need to put up or shut up. We know that they're not really going to ever do anything with this. We know that this is simply about scoring cheap political points. It's not about putting her in jail when she should be put in jail or impeaching Obama or putting Eric Holder in jail. They don't ever do that. They simply hold these show hearings to try to score political points and everybody's onto them and it's backfiring on them at this point. Look, these two keep setting each other up and then the other one knocks it out of the park. That's going to wrap it up for tonight's edition of InfoWars Nightly News. And remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to PrisonPlanet.tv, where you get a whole bunch more exclusive content. And of course, you support this broadcast at PrisonPlanet.tv. I've been your host, Paul Joseph Watson. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night, 7 p.m., for the InfoWars Nightly News. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.